If you only understood how much these two words block you from manifesting, you would never say them again. Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Mary Kate and I'm a mindset coach, manifesting expert and founder of mkmagicmindset.com. If you're new here, my channel is all about law of attraction, manifesting, meditations, and more. So be sure to subscribe. I would love to have you. In today's video, I'm going to show you two words that are stopping you from manifesting the things that you want. And you might not even realize how often you're saying them. Believe it or not, words have a lot of power because they influence your thoughts and feelings. If I were to say to you, there's a thousand dollars on its way to your bank account right now, that immediately invokes a feeling, a feeling of excitement or relief or abundance about that money showing up in your account. And then your mind, of course, starts thinking thoughts like, well, why is that money coming? Or how is it coming? Or maybe I'll use the money for this, or I'll pay off this, or I'm gonna buy this. Just me saying those words to you immediately invokes thoughts and feelings. So words have a lot of power. Use them well. And this is why so many people have success when using affirmations. When using affirmations, you are using words to invoke an emotional response and thinking thoughts that support what you want. There are words that empower us and there are words that defeat us. But the most important thing to understand is that words can signal exactly where your belief system is. If you've been wondering if you have a limiting belief about something, look at the words you've been using. Words like hope or wish are signals of a lack and loss of power in your ability to have that thing or Phrases like, when I have this, or when I can afford that, then I can have what I want. So when this circumstance is ideal, then I'll be able to do that thing I want or have that thing I want. There are a lot of people operating from this way and that's not the way manifesting works. Here is something you need to understand right here, right now, in order to change your life and your future. The power is within you, not outside of you. You don't need to hope or wish you need to believe and know. I need to repeat it again because it's so important. You don't need to hope or wish, you need to believe and know. There's a huge difference between hoping and wishing and believing and knowing. It's up to you to decide what you want, know you can have it, and believe you are going to have it. You get to decide what you have, and that's the fun part of manifesting. You decide. It's not a power from some other mystical force. It's within you. It's your power. You decide. The second you step into this power, you can shift your entire world. Now that you understand how powerful words are, here are the two words that block you from manifesting. You have to stop saying these. Ready for it? I can't. Sounds simple, right? You probably say these words more often than you think. Some of you might even be saying these multiple times per day. I can't afford this. I can't do this. I can't have that. I can't go there. I can't make time for that. I can't manifest this. There are so many I can'ts that people say every single day. But when you think you can't, that becomes true for you. There's a famous quote by Henry Ford that says, whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. You are only limited by your thoughts. So when you continue to think thoughts of I can't, you are going to keep getting the results from that thought. These are parameters that you've set within your reticular activating system. And if you have no idea what that means, go back to my previous video where I dive deep into that because that is a really powerful training you won't want to miss. But you won't be able to manifest the things you want if you think you can't. For example, how many times have you said, and be honest, I can't afford that? That's probably one of the most common ones because we have such limiting beliefs around money. And the reason that there's so many limiting beliefs about money is it's because something that is important in day-to-day -day life, and it's something you have a really strong emotional attachment to. I even used to be guilty of that one. I've said before that I can't afford that. I remember years ago when I first started to invest a lot of money into my business, I remember thinking I was crazy for spending that amount of money. I mean, who was I to be spending that kind of money? That's another limiting belief you're gonna have to get over, the who am I? But instead of giving into that I can't feeling or surrendering to that feeling of not being good enough, I did it anyway because I felt called to do it and I decided to lean into my intuition and trust my feelings. I decided that I get to follow where I'm led and that everything will always work out for me. And they always have. It's not because I'm lucky, it's because I decided. 
and you can decide to. When you take away that I can't, that really powerful limiting belief, everything starts to fall into place in ways that you can't even imagine. Coming from that place of believing and knowing will help you manifest what you want. It takes practice and continual mindset work. It takes getting out of your head and trusting your feelings and your intuition. That inner guidance system that knows your deepest desires and is helping you try to reach them by giving you impulses to do certain things. I dive way deeper into this inside my training series called The Breakthrough. I share mindset techniques, how to break through your blocks, and I share my magic tipping point technique. If you want more info, I'll leave a link up here and a link down below. But what you need to start doing is trusting yourself more. Stop waiting for permission because you'll always be waiting. You decide. And most of all, stop limiting what's possible for you by saying the words, I can't. Notice when you say these words and see how you can shift this because I'm telling you, everything will change for you and the doors will finally start to open up. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notifications so you get notified whenever I post a new video. And be sure to follow my Instagram at mkmagicmindset. I share tons of daily affirmations and law of attraction tips. And be sure to check out my website, mkmagicmindset.com. There you'll find other law of attraction resources, my digital courses, coaching, and so much more. And I will see you in the next one.